Yung mga susunod nating examples dito sa natural logarithm will be a little bit more challenging compared dun sa nauna nating lessons dun sa derivative ng logarithm. So, parehas pa rin ng formula. Gagamitin pa rin natin yung formula ng natural logarithm, which is the derivative of ln x is simply 1 over x. And also, gagamitin din natin yung natural logarithm expansion. So, parehas na parehas din siya sa logarithm. Kaso, instead na log yung gagamitin natin, ln yung makikita nyo. So, kung meron kang ln a over b, ang expansion niya will be ln a minus ln b. At kung meron kang ln times a times b, you have ln a plus ln b. At kung meron ka namang ln of a raised to n, you'll simply put yung n dun sa baba, n times ln of a na siya. So, gagamitin natin yung expansion dito sa logarithm, or I means sa derivative ng natural logarithm today. Now, as I was saying, mas challenging yung uh, mga examples na ipapakita ko sa inyo today. So, itong first example natin, eh, let's find the derivative of f of x equal to ln of x plus 1 all over square root of x minus 2. So, ang mapapansin nyo, kung uh, hindi nyo gagamitin yung expansion ng logarithm, quotient rule agad yung gagamitin yung uh, pagkuha ng, ng derivative ng function. Pero, pag ginamitan mo siya ng quotient rule, masyadong komplikado yung numerator and denominator. So, mahihirapan lang kayong magkuha ng derivative na to kung quotient rule yung gagamitin. Pero makukuha nyo pa rin naman siya, kaso nga lang, mas mahaba pa dito sa solution ko na to. So, paano ko kinuha yung derivative nitong function na to? So, first, sinimplify ko yung function ko, yung mga radical expressions, or yung function ko na may radical, ginawa ko siyang exponential. So, by expanding this function using the um, um, division property ng expansion ng logarithm, yung f of x ko magiging ln of x plus 1, which is your numerator, minus ln of x minus 2 raised to 1 half. Kasi, change ko yung radical into exponential. So, kunin nyo yung derivative nitong first function, and then kunin nyo yung derivative ng second function. So, yung derivative ng ln of x plus 1, minus 1 half times derivative ng ln of x minus 2. Now, mapapansin nyo yung 1 half ngayon nandito na sa baba kasi in-expand ko ulit siya. So, ginamitan ko siya ng expansion ng division. Ginamitan ko rin siya ng expansion ng power, power rule. So, yeah, 1 half times the derivative of ln of x minus 2. Now, since nag kumukuha tayo ng derivative ng natural logarithm, hindi maaalis yung u and du nyo. So, yung u nyo is x plus 1, ang derivative ng u nyo is simply 1. At dun sa second function naman, meron kang x minus 2 as your u, and your du will be 1. Now, to further simplify our derivative, yung f prime of x mo ngayon, ang derivative ng ln u is 1 over u, kaya 1 over x plus 1 lang siya, times the derivative of u, which is 1. At dito naman sa kabila, Yung 1 half mo, since constant siya, pwede mo siyang iset aside. Tapos mag-focus ka lang doon sa derivative ng x minus 2. Sa derivative ng ln of x minus 2 is 1 over x minus 2 times du, which is 1. So meron ka ngayong uh, term na may 1, may 1 half dito kasi ito yung constant na iniset, sinet aside nyo kanina. Now, to further simplify your derivative, f prime of x is now 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over 2 times x minus 2. So, medyo mahaba, pero since sanay na kayong kumuha ng mga derivatives at paggamit ng logarithm, logarithm at expansions ng logarithm, you should be able to do this on your own kapag nakakita kayo ng ganitong um, problem. So, once again, bago kayo gumamit ng quotient rule or product rule or power rule, try nyo munang expand yung logarithm based dun sa expansion ng logarithm na na natutunan natin sa trigonometry or sa geometry or sa algebra 2. Now, itong function naman na to, we have y equals x sine x. And we're going to find the derivative of y. So, para siyang implicit differentiation, at kung matatandaan nyo yung implicit differentiation natin na lesson dun sa higher order derivative, medyo ganun din ka komplikado yung pagkuha ng derivative ng function na to. Pero, tingnan natin kung uh, makikita nyo yung mga steps 
gamit yung rule ng logarithm at syempre yung mga dati nating derivative rule. So, ang unang step na gagawin nyo, kapag nakikita kayo ng function na ganito, y equals x sine x, you need to multiply yung left side at saka yung right side ng natural logarithm. Kasi, kailangan mong mapababa yung sine x using yung logarithmic expansion. So, when you multiply ln of y, meron ka ng ln of y dito, at kapag na-multiply nyo yung x raised to sine x ln, you have ln x sine x, you can use your expansion dito sa right-hand side nyo. So, pagkuha ng derivative ng both sides, derivative ng ln of, ln of y with respect to x, so ito, implicit differentiation to. At yung function nyo naman sa kabila, ibaba nyo yung sine x kasi yun yung rule ng logarithmic expansion. So, you have the derivative of sine x times ln x. Now, ang kaibahan nito dun sa second example is yung exponent nyo kanina, kung mapapansin nyo at matatandaan nyo, um, ano lang siya, number lang siya or constant lang siya. Kaya pwede natin siyang iset aside. However, yung exponent nyo ngayon ay hindi siya constant. Function siya which is sine x. Kaya gagamitan mo siya ngayon ng product rule para makuha mo yung derivative nitong right-hand side nyo. So, pagkuha nito, alam natin yung derivative ng ln of y is 1 over y dy dx kasi yung derivative ng ln x is 1 over x. But since implicit differentiation siya, yung derivative nitong left-hand side nyo is 1 over y dy over dx. Equal to product rule. So, isa-isahin natin yung step natin sa product rule. So, copy yung f of x times the derivative of g of x plus the derivative of f of x times copy g of x. And then, to further simplify yung derivative nyo, Kinopya ko lang si 1 over y dy dx kasi hindi ko na siya pwedeng isimplify. So, sine x times the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. At ang derivative naman ng sine x is cosine x tapos multiplied by ln x. Now, ito pa lang yung first half ng solution natin. Kailangan kasi natin mahiwalay si 1 over y dito sa function natin kasi dy dx kailangan mag-isa kasi nga we're solving for the derivative of the function x with, res with respect to, or yung function with respect to x. So, doon sa susunod na step, makikita nyo kung paano ko matatanggal si 1 over y dito at magiging dy dx na lang yung matitira sa function. So, bago nyo malimutan yung original function, kinukuha natin yung derivative ng function with respect to x at yung function na yun is y equals x raised to sine x. So, sa so kaninang um, slide, meron tayong 1 over y dy dx equal to this function right here. But since we need to get rid of 1 over y dun sa dy dx, we have to multiply both sides by y. Kasi pag multiply mo siya ng y, mawawala na yung 1 over y mo, yung dy over dx mo is mag-isa na. So, unti-unti na natin nasosolve yung derivative natin. Ang problema na lang natin is paano natin isisimplify itong right-hand side. So, ikokopyahin lang natin itong function na to, kasi wala naman tayong ginawa kundi i-multiply siya sa y. So, I have sine x over x by simplifying this term right here and cosine x times ln x times yung y. Hindi nyo na-cancel yung y kasi wala namang y dito sa first term at wala ding y dito sa second term. So, yung y nyo, dito lang siya. Magsistay lang siya dyan. However, we know na yung y mo, dun sa original function, is equal to x sine x. So, yung final answer nyo dito sa derivative ng logarithmic function na to will be sine x over x plus cosine x times ln of x multiplied by x sine x. So, nireplace nyo yung y by x sine x. So, ito na yung derivative niya.